The first reading comes from Isaiah chapter 64, verses 1 through 9. The lament comes from a people who have had their hopes shattered. The visions of a rebuilt Jerusalem and a renewed people of God, spoken of in Isaiah 40 through 55, have not been realized. Instead, the people experience ruin, conflict, and famine. This lament calls to God to account, to be the God who has brought deliverance in the past. Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down, so that the mountains would quake at your presence, as when fire kindles brushwood and fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down. The mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard. No ear has perceived. No eye has seen any God besides you, who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you in your ways. But when you were angry and we sinned, because you hid yourself, we transgressed. We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a filthy cloth. We all fade like a leaf, and our, and our iniquities like the wind take us away. There is no one who calls on your name or attempts to take hold of you, for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us to the hand of our iniquity. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O Lord, and do not remember inequity forever. Now consider, we are all your people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.